Can can you all see the screen, or maybe maybe you need to move aside a little bit so people can see. Maybe yeah. Okay. Uh, my name is Mada, and since past eight weeks in Sunday school, we've been learning about how to develop good qualities. We are spirit souls. Bhagavad Gita verse 2.13 talks about this. Dehino spinyata dehe kaumaram yovanam jala tata deham tara prapti dira satranam the translation talks about as the embodied soul continuously passes from one body to another. The bodies keep changing, but the soul remains as it is. Here's an image about how the body keeps changing, but the soul remains as it is. We are part and parcels of Krishna. Bhagavad Gita verse 15.7. Mama Evancho Jiva Loke Jiva Bhuta Sanatana Mana Shastrani Indriyani Prakriti Stani Karshati talks about how we are part and parcels of Krishna and we are his eternal fragmental parts, but due to conditioned life, we are stuck with our six senses, including the mind. Since we are part and parcels of Krishna, we naturally have all of the good qualities. But in the material world, we are covered by negative influences. Some of the spiritual qualities are enlisted in Bhagavad Gita verse 12.13 and 12.14. Let us all recite this verse together. Advesta sarva bhutanam maitra karuna evacha dhirmamo nirahankara samadhukha sukakshami santushta satatam yogi Some of the transcendental qualities of a pure devotee are being non envious, being a kind friend to all living entities, being equal in both happiness and distress, being always satisfied, being free from a false ego, and being tolerant. Now my friends will share a little bit about different qualities. Hare Krishna, my name is Navaneet. I did a presentation on forgiveness. My takeaway point is forgiveness is a critical part of character development and it's an important quality which is needed for peace of mind and relationships. A person, who is more, a person who is more spiritually advanced will forgive, understanding that everything is happening because of the mercy of Lord Krishna. Since he sees Krishna's hands everywhere, he understands that offenses people commit are just his own purification. And thus, it doesn't hold the other person's responsibility. I'd like to conclude this by praying to Lord Krishna to give us all the power to forgive what's hurt us. Thank you. My name is Viraj, and I did a presentation on compassion. The main, pres the main takeaway point is to be compassion or sympathetic to all living beings. Hare Krishna, my name is Harini, and I did a presentation on the 10 good qualities. The first one is you're not supposed to have enviousness. Second one is no false ego. Third one is you're supposed to forgive every person. 
Fourth one is you're always supposed to be engaged in bumpy. Fifth one, you're not you're supposed to control the senses. Sixth one is you're always supposed to be friendly. Seventh one is you need to be kind. Eighth one is you should think equal. Ninth, be happy with what you have. And the tenth one is you always need to be a great devotee of Krishna. Hi Krishna, my name is Krishna and I did a presentation on being a good friend. To be a good friend, you should see if the Krishna conscious and have good, qual- good qualities like being nice, respectful, humble and trustworthy. Hare Krishna, my name is Vedant. I did a presentation of being a good friend. My takeaway point from my takeaway point from my presentation is that you, if you want to be a good friend, you have to be kind, respectful, helpful, and trustworthy. Friendships influence and in, uh, influence us in good and bad ways. A, 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 a influence in a good way can be with an uh, example is Krishna and Sudama, and uh, a influence in a bad way. An uh, example for it is Duryodhana and Karna. So to make our friend to make our friendships have a good influence, we can make them more spiritual, like by eat, sharing prasada, doing dramas, doing kirtan with their friends. And in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna states that he is in the heart of all living entities and he is the best friend for all, for all living entities. And so we should make Krishna and his devotees our best friend and live a successful and happy life. Thank you. Hare Krishna. about non-enviousness. My main um, qu- sentence is that if you're non-envious, you will always remain happy with what you have. Hare Krishna, my name is Aparajit. So last week, I did a presentation on determination. So my main takeaway point from my presentation is that determination is probably the most crucial part in trying to reach any goal because determination is that like one like probably guiding voice that's in your mind sometimes that says keep going keep on going and it, help, it really helps you to reach your goal. So a spiritual example of determination would be like, um, would be like if, uh, like, so we should all know that Krishna, getting to Krishna is like the ultimate goal of life. So if we always keep that in mind, then it'll push us to try to get closer and closer to and um, last week I did a project about um, forgiveness. Forgiveness is about forgetting the hurtful past that someone did to you by hurting the body, by hurting your body or your feelings. Hare Krishna, my name is Adya and last week I did a presentation about friendship. And my main takeaway point is about me talking about the bad foods and good foods of friendship. Yeah. Hi Krishna, my name is Akshaj and last week I did a presentation about respect. My main takeaway point from the presentation is that respect should be shown in everyone, whether you're a rich king or a poor brahmana or anyone in the middle. Yeah. 
Guru. All right, Krishna. My name is Divyansh, and last week I did a presentation of com about compassion. So compassion is uh, showing mercy and kindness to other living entities and helping them by putting yourself out of the way. Well, and it's also uh, treating um, live other living entities based on how much effort they put and not how much they have and their capabilities. It's like how Krishna blessed a uh, rich king and poor brahmana equally in the city of Madhya. Um, so, I did a presentation about compassion too. I did that last week. And my main takeaway point is that you can show compassion to anyone, whether who they are, even if you don't know them at all. Yeah, and you can show compassion to anyone. Another thing is how you can show compassion is like, by like helping people, even if you have no idea what they're doing, like you can ask for help and, you know, okay. Some ways, some ways in which we can clean the dust and the dirt of the mirror of our heart. Number one, chanting. In Sri Shastakam verse one, Jeto Darpana Marjanam Mahadavagni Nirvapana talks about how chanting cleanses the heart, which how chanting cleans the dust in our heart, which has been accumulated from many lifetimes. <coughs> Number two, association. Narad Muni, as a child in his previous birth, associated with saintly people, and due to this, he developed saintly qualities. Changes between one devotee and another. In the Nectar of Instructions, verse 4, let us all recite this together. Tadati prati grinati, guyam akyati prichati, bunte bojate chaiva, shadvedam prati lakshana. The translation talks about the six loving exchanges between one devotee and another. The first exchange is giving gifts. The second is accepting gifts. The third is revealing one's mind confidentially. The fourth is inquiring confidentially. The fifth is giving prasad. And the last one, but not least, is accepting prasad. Number three, reading scriptures. Reading books like Srimad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita can also help us to develop good qualities. Number four, rendering services. Whenever we Whenever we render services onto Krishna, like cleaning the temple floor, cooking in the kitchen, and other activities, Krishna becomes pleased and our heart gets purified, which also helps us to develop good qualities. Number five. Number five. Hearing or Shravana. In this example, you can see Parikshit Maharaj. He heard from Shukadev Goswami and went back to Godhead. In summary, how to feed good qualities and what can we do when we feel negative influences coming upon us? Number one, chanting. Number two, reading scriptures. Number three, having good association. Number four, rendering services. And number five, hearing Krishna's pastimes. Here's a scriptural example of someone who, who got influenced after good association. Nar Muni and the sages. Narad Muni in his previous birth associated with saintly people and due to this he developed saintly qualities. And another example is when Srila Prabhupada influenced the Western world. The people who were doing drugs, violation, on all those bad things, Srila Prabhupada turned them into devotees and also helped them develop good qualities. Here's a scripture example of someone who got influenced after bad association. Like they got influenced by mantra. Now we now my classmates are gonna sing Ohe Vaishnava Takara and um you guys can repeat. <laughs> 